In Pakistan, piles of old paper on the streets aren't trash, they're cash. While most people see waste, these guys see cardboard boxes waiting to be reborn. First, used paper is collected and sorted. For cardboard, the real gold is OCC, Old Corrugated Containers, basically cardboard's final boss. All that paper gets dumped into a giant blender called a hydropulper, filled with water and chemicals. Inside, spinning blades shred everything into pulp, turning yesterday's boxes into a soggy soup called slurry. This slurry is about 99% water and 1% fiber, and it flows into a massive Fordrenier machine. The pulp spreads over a moving wire screen, water drains out, and the fibers start bonding. Heavy rollers squeeze out more water, then steam-heated cylinders dry the sheet until only 5 to 8% moisture remains. Now we have huge rolls of paper. These rolls enter the corrugator, where heated grooved rollers form the iconic waves that give cardboard its strength. Here's where the magic happens. Grooved rollers crimp the paper into waves, the reason cardboard can survive shipping, stacking, and being aggressively kicked in warehouses. That wavy sheet gets glued between two flat layers using cornstarch adhesive, then heated non-stop so everything sticks for real. Then proceed to the bonding stage to ensure structural strength. One layer of liner is attached to one side of the corrugated paper. A second layer of liner is attached to the opposite side, forming the classic cardboard sandwich. The number of layers can vary depending on the strength needed. Finally, the sheets are cut, scored, and folded, so the boxes bend cleanly without destroying the wave structure inside. And just like that, from street trash to shipping boxes, and let's be honest, give it a few weeks and these boxes will be right back on the street, waiting to start this whole cycle again.